Hello, welcome, Devil Sniper here, and this is episode 4 of my career mode with Portsmouth. And what a challenge this is. Five seasons we've got to get Portsmouth back to the Premier League and win an FA Cup. What a challenge. What an absolute challenge. So, basically, I'd like to know how you would like this series to go. Do you want just um, short snippet highlights, or do you would you like the um, the little bit longer highlights where I talk about a game a bit more in depth? Um, you let me know in the comments below. That would be very helpful. I, I mean, I'm quite happy to do either. I quite enjoy showing you a little bit more highlights because I think that shows you a bit more of the flow of the game. That sometimes it's not just one-sided for me. You know, a case of oh, goal, 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 or conceding. That there's there's a little bit more to the game. But anyway, you let me know. And what we're going to do is have a look at the um, the players you guys recommended. And I narrowed it down to basically four players. And here they are: John Taylor. Really does look a. a I like the look of him. You know. He's got the acceleration, he's got the sprint speed, he's got the agility, he's got the stamina. And they're, they're, they're the fundamentals that I really wanted in a right midfielder. Skill moves, four star, is an absolute bonus. Absolute bonus. And I think he looks really, really good. I think he could really add to the team. I think he could do his, uh, uh, a lot of damage for us. Tony Watt, he got a great deal of coverage. Looks a really good player, to be honest. I do like the look of him. My my fear with him is if we take him, his finishing is not amazing. He's not overly quick, but saying that he's a young lad, and speed is not everything at the end of the day. Now Dominic, he's just a whippet. This dude is just a, a Olympic pace. I mean, look at that acceleration: ninety-two, sprint speed ninety-five, and agility ninety-four. With such agility, I thought his ball control dribbling would be a little bit better, but they're really not. But he does look a, a, a decent player. My one fear for him is his finishing is not amazing. His shot power's okay. So, I don't know. I don't even know if Chicago Fire will really let us entertain taking him away for a full season. Um, but he does he does look a good prospect. You know, he's only 27, so it's not as if I'm thinking about buying him in the future. It'll just literally be for a loan. Now, Tomlin got a lot of coverage as well. Now, I believe Arsenal recommended Tomlin. And I've got to say, looking at him, he does look perfect. But my fear is... He plays for Peterborough. Peterborough, I can't see them allowing us to have him, which would be a great shame because I think he'd fit in really well. You know, I like the look of his strength. He's He's got decent yellow where I'd want him to have decent yellow, apart from stamina. That's, that was his only downfall for me. 61 stamina really, oh, I was a little bit gutted, but he's got decent yellow where I want him to have decent yellow. So I thought that was um, essentially quite cool. So what I, was, what I decided to do is I was going to just put the feelers out there and actually see which clubs will allow us to, to take their player for a season. So I'm basically going to offer uh, a loan deal for a full season to each player and see what we get back. Because I don't feel we're going to get all four back. Even if we did get all four back, we wouldn't be able to take all four and it'll just be another conundrum of who we actually pick because we don't have the wage budget to take all four. I mean, Watt earns 1500 nicker a week. You've got John Taylor earns 750 So you can see what I mean. We, we haven't got enough money to take a third player. I mean, look, uh, Dominic himself is 3000 a week. I mean, that's that's it. We would only be able to take, essentially, Dominic, and that would be it. We wouldn't have the money. Well, I suppose we would. We'd have... We'd, we'd be able to take um, 750 Yeah, we might be able to get two players. May oh, be so tight with the budget, because we haven't really got a, a huge budget, and that's my biggest fear. Like I say, he earns 3000 I mean, same with Tomlin. He earns 3000 So it's definitely not as if we could have Tomlin and Dominic. We don't have six grand a week. But we might be able to get John Taylor and somebody else. Which is what I'm hoping for. John Taylor is the one I'm really, really hoping for. I really think he could add to our team. I think he could essentially slot into the 4-3-3. I don't know what you guys think. I think he could help with the 4-3-3. I think he'd be fantastic in that 4-3-3 role. Just because of his pace, purely. I mean, playing Lucas in Cam, distributing the ball out to the right-hand side would just be absolutely majestic. And hopefully we can uh, do some damage in this league. Because it's going to be a hard league. You know, this league is really competitive. And I decided to stick with the 4-3-1-2. Essentially, I don't feel we have the players um, to do any real damage wide. You know, Lee Williamson is not a wide player. He's, he's a good, solid player. And uh, what you're going to see is basically the AI again. World-class bloody AI. It's annoying. Leighton Orient are very well disciplined. They cut down the space, especially when you get in sort of 20 yards away from goal. They cut down your space, so they limit your ability to have a shot. And as normal, they're getting a lot of blocks in. And this was a nice bit of football. Great ball inside to Rogers. 
Not a bad turn, but he, he lacked power. He was off balance, so he was never going to get a clean connection. And then all of a sudden, it was just Leighton Orient. Leighton Orient just dominated the game. Great piece of skill there by, by Leighton Orient, just to cut inside. And we got away with it. That was the one thing that I found is we got, a, I mean, that first touch, I think it was a miscontrol, but, you know, I'm sure a lot of pundits would say it was a cracking first touch to, to deceive the player. It was a great first touch, I suppose, and he got round us, but Leighton Orient just came at us and absolutely dominated. Poor defending here. We should be, we've got to have that mentality. We've got to have the mentality in this lower league, if in doubt, stick it out. We can't afford to keep hold of the ball. We can't afford just to not try and knock it out and play graceful football. We can't play like I'd like to play with Arsenal and knock the ball out from the back. Or West Ham, knock the ball out from the back. We don't really have the players to do it. We don't have the comfort zone to do it. And that ball over the top was just majestic. And I honestly thought they were going to score. But the keeper come out and he closed down the angle so well. It's fantastic. Rogers picks the ball up here. Look at that touch by Lucas. And I'll tell you what, that is a great finish. That really is a great finish. The ball here for Rodgers, you have to look at the first touch and the movement by Lucas. Absolutely awesome. It's going to be a joy to play with him, and he has to be the main focal point of everything we do. Look at that. That nice bit of movement backwards. Great first touch. Turns, bang. And that was with his right foot. I was a little bit surprised with his right foot. I was expecting him to do a outside of the left foot into the bottom corner. And then, I go against everything I say. If in doubt, stick it out. I panic. And wow, Harley absolutely rescued me. That was absolutely epic. I didn't realise Harley had such great close control. But when I was talking about, if in doubt, stick it out, I should take my own medicine and I've stuck that ball out into Rose Ed, but I didn't. And I got away with it. And that's the one thing I've got to remember. I can't be cocky and arrogant and think I can get away with that. Because in this league, you will be punished. Just because it's lower league, you, you will easily be punished. Now you see, Lucas has got a slight injury, and that affected him in that shot. Otherwise, I think that would have nestled in the top corner for sure. Come on, it's Lucas. He's amazing. So we got the three points. I was really, 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 really dead chuffed to pick up those three points. I think that's an that is a huge step for us at Portsmouth. I think that's a huge step for this career, and it's a great, great start. You know, we, we've had not the greatest of starts, not the greatest of starts this season, but that, those three points are a really good base to build upon, and hopefully we will build upon those. But I've got to say, Lucas has got to be our main focal point. We definitely, definitely, definitely need a decent striker. Hopefully, we'll see what we get back from the loan offers. Uh, if we get a decent offer, we're going to have to take it, I feel. And it'll be interesting to see. If all four come back, I'll be shocked. And no, they haven't. So, we've basically got... Shrewsbury, that's John Taylor. I'm really chuffed about that. I think that's fantastic. I think he's going to add so much. Do we see him in that 4-3-3 role? You know, on the right wing, bombing forward, Lucas playing Cam. Oh, oh that scares me. Peter Burrow, I think, I think that was a give me. I didn't really think they'd allow Tomlin to uh, to come to Pompey. Chicago Fire, I was a little bit surprised, but am I really gutted? Probably not, because his, his wages is 3000 so I'm probably not too bothered. Tony Watt, I was really, really chuffed that we've got the opportunity. But, 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 it's always a but. Crew Alexandra have got a really talented young player. His name is Max Clayton, and um, there was a few sort of comments sort of pointing me towards him. Now, I played a few games with Crew um, just to see what the lad was like, and I've got to say, he has great potential. I really did like playing with him. I felt comfortable with him. He didn't feel sluggish. He actually felt really smooth. It felt like I was playing with Lucas. He didn't have the same sort of ability, obviously. But it felt like I was playing with Lucas. And I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that side of it. So I think he's going to be a player that I'd like. But overall, you know, thinking about it logically, thinking about it properly, I'm going to take the two lads. I'm going to take John Taylor. And I'm going to take Tony Watt. And I think January is going to be an important phase. I don't think we need to strengthen at the back. Maybe in cover terms, but I don't think we can actually afford to even think about the back four. I don't think we can afford to think about the midfield anymore. You know, we bought one player in. We bought Ballon in. So I'm happy with that. Really happy with him, actually. He's a really good little CDM. A little bit underrated, I feel, actually. I think his stats are actually better than what they are. You know, the player himself is actually better than his stats. But as you can see, Tony Watt and John Taylor... Did I really think about rejecting this offer? Did I really have Max Clayton in the back of my mind? Would I go for Max Clayton? No, of course not. I went for Tony Watt. It was simple. It was. It, I like the look of this lad. I played a few games with with Celtic, and I've got to say, he he he. I think he can get the goals that we need, the goals we require to get out of this league. I hope. Fingers crossed. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode, and I will catch you later.